Currently, men with prostatic cancer get a number of different treatments around the world, but all of them are either very expensive or cause a lot of collateral damage. The downside of treatments is that um, they're associated with significant side effects, which in an aging male are um, a real issue. Uh, the principal one being incontinence um, and rectal problems, the latter being associated with radiotherapy. The big challenge has been to try and find a treatment that allows you to remove the prosthetic cancer without damaging the organs and the tissues nearby. If you have a, a heat source or a radiation source or a freezing source, the destruction goes outwards and so it goes beyond the tumour. But in N-Cage, the destruction is inwards because it's a, a cage that goes around the tumour and destroys only what's inside it and nothing outside. So it means that it protects all the other tissues, whereas the other treatments do exactly the opposite. When I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, I was offered two procedures. One was the removal of the prostate, which, um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm way too young for that. And then I was approached about the new procedure would I be prepared to go on the trial? Needles would be placed into the prostate. They would then be heated up, which would basically burn the cancer cells away. Um, and that, that would be it. The initial idea was very clear. I came up with a probe that is not a needle. It's a probe that is like a cage. And, and this is where the name of the probe came from, it's in cage. And this cage uh, is a coiled probe that just wraps the tissue, the region where the, the tumour is, and we destroy the tissue within this, this cage. And this is why uh, it, it works so well for confining uh, and not destroying anything else outside. It's a very simple uh, probe that will come uh, through the skin and will be inserted manually like, like a corkscrew and will wrap the tumoral region. The tumour will be placed inside this, this cage and we show that after activating the probe, because we, of course we, we will uh, connect the probe to a generator, and once we activate the radio frequency, this active part will be totally destroyed, but only within the limits of the coil. And then we just remove the probe the same way, and, and it's finished. I suppose the three biggest benefits of NKH are firstly that it is so localized, so you only treat the tumor and nothing else. Two, that it's actually inexpensive. Uh, and thirdly, um, because you can guide it in live, real time, you know exactly where it is in relation to the tumour and the surrounding tissues. My name is Clement Orzik. I'm a urological surgeon and working in UCL Division of Surgery. We just finished a case for using the NKH technology. And I think we did a very well, very good treatment. We covered the whole area of cancer using the NK technology. I was expecting probably three to six months of things not being how they was and I was prepared, prepared for that. Um, so obviously after a week or so for everything to be back to normal was really fantastic. When I see them five days after the surgery to remove the catheter uh, you know the main complaint is the catheter and not the pain due to the surgery which is absolutely different from what the kind of surgery we can do for prostate cancer. Once the procedure had been done and I got home, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, once the catheter was removed, um, I was fine to go back to work, everything was normal, able to go to the toilets properly, no leakage whatsoever. After about a week and a half, I found that I was able to get an erection and it's been fine ever since. I, I don't see any other technology today in the market that can uh, allow the surgeon to, to predict exactly uh, what will be destroyed before destroying anything. Men value the attributes of focal treatments. So in other words, like the fact that these treatments are less invasive, like the fact that they can be done on a day case basis, and like the fact that they are very likely to return to baseline function um, a week, a month, or indeed three months after treatment. Prostate cancer is all over the world. It's the commonest cancer in men. So to try and get it available to all those people is a big task and it needs a lot of support, a lot of new training centres, and that's what we need to try and generate an interest in.